testicles, testicles, one, two. Okay, I think we're good. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on where you are. Today, we're going to talk about goal setting and why, if you haven't set a goal, you're probably floating around doing nothing. So, most people say, oh, I kind of want to do this. Um, It kind of would be nice if I would get here. But... They don't have anything specific that they've written down or that they've expressed. And if you don't have anything specific that you're trying to get to, then you definitely don't have a plan to get there because you don't even know where you're going. So I'm going to make this really simple and short. Treat your metaphorical destination like a physical destination. If I was talking to someone and I said, where are you headed? And they said, yeah, I don't know. Just in this general direction. I would say, how you know you're going to get there? Well... I don't know. I figure if I head in this direction, I'll probably get there one day. But you don't know where you're going. So how are you going to get there? If you knew exactly where you're going, you could type your destination in a GPS. Or at least you could just know you were going there because you know where you're going. But people don't do that. And you wouldn't do that with a physical destination. So why are you doing that with your life's destination, your life's journey? Why are you floating And hoping that you get somewhere and you don't even know where it's at. That's why the majority of people, they're not making a good amount of progress in whatever they're trying to do. That could be lifting. It could be business. It could be whatever. You literally have no idea where you're going. So you can't take the best route there. Once you figure out where you're going, you can ask people that have been to the same destination as you. If I wanted to make a million dollars, I would immediately seek out people that made a million dollars. I wouldn't ask people that haven't made a million dollars. I would find mm, a couple of people that made a million dollars, and I would say, what do you think the best way for me to get to this destination is? And because they've been there before, and they probably started where you started at, (laughs) they'll be able to offer you some advice. Um, What else? So... To sum this up, because I'm not going to make this super long today, you need to have a very strict goal. That goal needs to have deadlines. That goal needs to have checkpoints. If I was going from Florida to California, I know I'm going to pass through these states on my way to California. I don't just drive and hope I end up in California. If I was in New York, I would know I was going the wrong direction. So you need that for your goals, too. You need stuff along the way. To make sure that you're actually going to get to where you're going and the deadline that you set. If you want to do something in five years, every six months to a year, six months to a year, you you should have something that lets you know that if you're on this path, you will or will not make it in five years. If you set something for a year mark and you haven't made it in a year, then you know if you don't pick something up or change something, you probably won't make it in a year, right? Um... So yeah, today, write down your goals, make it very specific. If you can't make an exact plan for your goals, then it's probably not specific. Saying, I want to get stronger. What the fuck does that mean? I want to get stronger. Do you want to lift 0.01 more pounds? Because that's getting stronger. No, you want something very specific. I want to bench press this many more pounds by this day. Because again, If you don't have a deadline, I want to bench 30 more pounds. Okay. Hopefully you get it in the next 10 years. Oh, that's too long. How's that too long? You didn't put a day on it. You put no restrictions, no deadlines. And it sounds silly when you say it like that, but that's essentially what you're doing with your own goals. I want to make a million dollars one day. When? When you're 80? When you're 90? Or before you're 30? If you want to make it before you're 30... How do you ensure that you're going to make that? Do you just hope that you work enough hours and make a million dollars? No. Because more than likely, whatever job you make or whatever job you work, you don't even make enough to ever make a million dollars in your lifetime. And you would see that if you wrote your plan out. So make a, make a goal, a strict deadline, and you need to have checkpoints along the way. I want you to do that today if you haven't done it already. And if you want, you can send it to me. If you follow me on here, if you follow me on Instagram, send it to me. And I will very quickly pick out holes in your plan because I do this to people all the time.
and it's good. It's good to have someone look at your plan. It can give you a perspective that you may not have had, um, and it can, or it can reinforce it. Maybe I'll look at it and say, this is amazing, and then you'll know you're on the right path, okay? Share this plan with other people that can hold you accountable. Share it with me. Look over it from time to time, because sometimes your goals do change a little bit based on your life experiences, so it's good to relook at your goals, right? Anyways, I hope this helps you in some way. I'm going to keep making these frequently. Tell me the topic, and I'll be making another video. Thank you for watching.